Good morning. Um, hi, sorry, my dog is there. Um, so I am sitting here on the floor of my daughter's room getting ready to pack her for camp. And I know you may think, hey, that has nothing to do with homeschool. However, it has everything to do with having kids. So my daughter is attending her first overnight camp. Um, it's actually several hours away, so it makes my anxiety a little high. However, she is going with our church, so I think that it will be a great adventure for her. Um, the church gives us a list of things that she needs, and then obviously as an overzealous mom that I am, I wanted to add some of my own things just to make sure that she's comfortable and happy and, um, yay! Okay, so things that we are going to need while she's at camp. We made sure that she has her sleeping bag. I I made sure that I label everything. I don't know. I've never sent my child to overnight camp. So I'm just kind of doing what my mom did for me when I was a kid. Um, because it is church camp, we just make sure that she has her one-piece bathing suit. And I'm making sure that she has... Everybody say hi to Pumba. Um, I'm making sure that she has a laundry bag. It's just like a thin um, kind of see-through bag. Um, that way, if she has any dirty, wet clothes, um, there's also, I have two of them, one for dirty clothes, one for like a wet bathing suit or something like that. Um, and then this, the camp requested that she has like a drawstring bag. Um, if she wants to carry her towel in it, or um, I know that they do um, church and whatnot, and they do different groups, so that way she can put her Bible or her notebook or whatever in the drawstring bag, and it's just easily accessible. Um, she is riding on a fancy bus. She's so excited. They're stopping for fast food and everything on the way to camp, so she keeps on talking about that. Um, they did say that on the way to camp, um, the bus can obviously get a little chilly, so she's packing a fluffy blanket to make sure that she stays warm. Obviously, her towel, um, and I um, am making sure my girl gets so covered in bug bites, it's ridiculous, and I'm sure that you all have that same problem, but um, I meet these people that never get attacked by mosquitoes, and I'm like, are you human? Because I get torn up. So, um, obviously, bug spray, um, solacane in case she gets burnt, but I hope she doesn't. Two different kinds of um, sunscreen, and just because we all get annoyed with bug bites, um, little bug bite cream, so you know, at night she's not up, just itchy, itchy, scratchy, scratchy. Um, I remember I went to Girl Scout camp one year, and we literally learned a song about. Um, mosquitoes. It was it was just horrible. I am from up north. I, I'm from New Hampshire, and up there it's just heavily wooded mountains, and um, I got attacked. It was crazy. Um, but I put everything in a big bag so it doesn't leak. Um, they are having themed nights. So um, one night they are going to do like a space theme, like outer space. And then another night they're doing what they call surf and turf. So um, both of these nights kids can dress up um, with their theme. Um, so with surf and turf, it's like bikers versus surfers. Um, so my daughter picked out a cute little like biker outfit. It's, um, it's just cute. And then... Um, obviously like a tropical outfit if you wanted to do um the surfers i couldn't really find space theme things for her age um so i'm hoping that her her dad has better luck than i do but um i figured maybe glow sticks so it's like outer space glowing you know that sort of thing and then um because it is Bible camp, I'm making sure she has her Bible. Um, we do have tabs through our Bible. I don't know if you use those, but if you don't, they are fantastic. Um, her little notebook, because obviously during service and um, little meetups, they're going to want to be taking notes and things like that. And then um, my daughter is, she just draws everything. She just will sit in a room full of people and she just chooses to draw sometimes. I mean, obviously she's sociable, but she is just an artist at heart. So I got her a little book that is like just blank pages. Um, I remember when I went to camp, I wrote notes home or I just had like this little journal that I would write in. And I'm thinking maybe she'll write in this too, but um, a lot of times when she experiences things, she just 
draws what she's experiencing. So I thought that that might be a little like mommy gift that she might enjoy at camp. I even wrote something in it. I am so sentimental. I probably should not be that way seeing as I now have a teenager, but I can't help it. Um, so because she's going to be getting wet and it's camp and you get dirty and you know, you're just having a blast. I chose not to do a whole lot of like jean shorts or anything like that. Um, I did like these little like thin, um, like athletic shorts because for one, they dry super fast. They're lightweight. Um, we live in the South and her camp is even further South than us. So I know that she will probably be sweating. And I just think that, um, the lighter weight clothes that she can use the best. Um, she is very excited. She got, um, word the other day that her, her, um, group, she, they're divided by age. Um, and her group has a, um, color and it's, called the yellow tribe. So I had to go out and buy like yellow shirts or things like that that she can wear. And can I just say, um, yellow is not a common thing. I mean, I do see some like mustard yellows and stuff like that when it comes to um, like fall and things like that. But I just had the hardest time finding yellow. So I am a super thrifty, um, less be cheap and just, um, I love thrift stores and I love bargain hunting and I absolutely love going in and like just trying to search for whatever it is that I'm looking for. And chances are I find it. It's pretty, it's pretty fun and it's pretty cool. And I get steals of a bargain. So I got her cute little like tank tops, like thin that she can just wear like a little, um, camisole under. Um, I got some long sleeve, short sleeve. I even found like little t-shirts that are yellow or, um, athletic. Like, you know, those, um, bikers that wear like that, that material, um, like athletic material. I got some of those. I don't know if she's going to like any of this stuff. Let's be real. She's a teenager and I feel like they have minds of their own, which they should, but they're very picky. Um, <laughs> Mom, was I this picky as a kid? I don't know. I hope not. Um, um, at the thrift store, I also found this massive um, duffel bag. It's huge and fantastic, and it looks brand new. And the the whole thing is it was only $3. So while everybody is out shopping and getting their, like, $50 duffel bags, mine was $3. One, two, three. Um, I am all about some cheap stuff because when am I going to use this? I don't know when I'm going to use it again. So why do I want to spend $50 on it? So other than that, obviously like the toilet tree things, we did some soap and razor and brush and Tylenol just in case. And, um, we, I have this like little bag. She has her inhaler in it and, toothbrush and dental floss and deodorant and I got these little like like woo, um miniature flashlights and like the miniature tissues um I like I said I am a first time send my kid off to camp mom so um I have no idea what I'm doing so if you have done this before and you were a veteran camp mom then please let me know if i hey you shouldn't send that or hey did you think about sending this because chances are i haven't um again i sharpied everything i mean her clothes her duffel bag her blanket her towel like you name it and maybe i'm overkill i don't know but um i don't know i don't know so i'm at a loss and i feel like i'm forgetting things and i need help. So pretty much if you could write me and let me know what I'm forgetting, that would be fantastic. And if I'm doing a good job, that would be good to know too, because don't we all just want to know that we're doing a good job? Um, I hope you all have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Wish me luck.